Hey guys, it is Jacob here with my update to Tiny Mark 7 Farmer on Rosa. The build is insane and insanely cheap, easy to put together. Once you are able to farm your first like maybe 100 FEs, <coughs> you should be able to put this together easily or 200 FEs. Um, as you can see, it does like 5 billion damage already, and I did not even yet unlock the last like trait here because I wanted to show you how the build clears uh, the Time Mark 7 map, how fast it is in the Time Mark 7 map, even under level 90 basically. So that would go like this. The only mod that you cannot run is minus block chance. So uh, uh, keep a look at that. L like watch for it to not be on the map. And this is how it clears. So you basically just run and delete monsters everywhere. <coughs> So as you can see I'm using Haunting, Ab Haunting Abomination or, or Haunted Abomination, I'm not sure how to pronounce the skill. It's a Terra skill that deals pretty much no damage, but through, through the right itemization you can actually scale the damage of the skill to big numbers. So yeah, I will not clear them up. Entirely, I will just run to the end and proceed with the build explanation because, as you can see, it just clears just fine. Like, just fine. That's what you expect from a build that does like 6 billion DPS, right? Cut a hole on so, top of your head. That's this. The light can come. That's Time Mark 7 map. Now I will unlock the trait, un unlock the last trait. I will <coughs> kill a Realm Lord. Time Mark 7 Realm Lord, my first time on this. And it should go pretty fast, I believe. <coughs> I witnessed your death in the so you basically just use your F skill under the monster that you want to kill. And then you keep running through it. And basically stack your Haunted Abomination on the monster. And it will start ticking, it will start critting, and that's where all the damage comes from. Once you stack your fervor up, it is a fervor stacker as well, so once you stack your fervor up, the damage goes through the roof. And I just hope that the scaling of the build will continue with gear progression. Because all the items that I have right now are really cheap, are just base versions of the unique items. It is fully unique build. So you don't need to craft any piece for it to put it together. You can just buy unique items and start farming. <coughs> And you should be good to go. So what makes the build the build? Uh, let's go through the items first. So it is a Terra build, so I'm using Terra stacking like items, which is this helmet, which gives you plus max Terra quantity, plus one. The item costs like two FEs, I guess. Uh, this, yeah, even one FE. You just want to buy some with like higher energy, so this one for two FEs, so yeah, really cheap, just base version of the item, just like I have here. Plus one max terra quantity on this one, then kingly armor, also plus max one terra quantity, that goes for around 10 FEs, the base version. <coughs> then Ralph's footsteps base version of these boots go under 10 FEs as well so that's that that gives you your movement speed through fervor and fervor stacking gloves that's the only 
piece that is that costs something actually but you can buy them for around 20 FEs under 30 I bought these for like 15 <coughs> so yeah and the core item is the hammer or the hammer which the base version of it goes under 5 FEs and the hammer is the piece that allows you to stack your damage for the for the haunted abomination skill so that's for the items the rest of the items just a few set pieces not even from this character but from my previous character so this one gives me nothing just some resistances and this one gives me some resistances as well and that's it <coughs> so I'm even missing two pieces and on the rings you want two chaotic endings with as much fervor rating and fervor effect as possible so you are stuck in fervor as you noticed on the gloves those are fervor gloves and the boots are for fervor as well so fervor effects different fervor effects so you want fervor in to increase fervor effect through your ring slots as much as possible like triple triple uh, fervor effect rating chaotic endings go for around 6 to 10 k FEs so that's not in this build yet but this is like time mark 7 and time mark 8 farmer I guess at this point so yeah uh, uh, now for the skills haunting abomination as I said the skill deals pretty much no damage but it scales through other sources of damage really well so that's what the hammer gives us like uh, when you are attacking you are getting void orbs which provides you with 100 to 200 physical damage per void orb and you can get up to 6 so that's, so that's 600 to 1200 uh, physical damage to spells but the downside of it is that you deal damage to yourself as well which on Rosa is not a downside because you want to deal damage to yourself to be able to block it and to actually generate life energy shield and your uh, charges for F skill so yeah that's that so that's how you scale the haunt and abomination you want to buy the activation medium instruction for it try to find one with as low as possible cooldown on this or the trigger like interval <coughs> because the lower it is the more haunted abominations you will be able to summon in the short, shorter time period so you will be able to ramp up your damage faster and then ground divide max terra charge crit damage uh, additional physical damage and uh, terra charge speed through speed up formation so that's for this this uh, second skill for movement link with quick mobility and magic dash self explanatory same as on every other build like cool and recovery and max charge so you can blink twice one two the third skill savage charge with activation medium critical strike what this does is it gives you instruction charges and these instruction charges then get like propagated to the haunted abomination through the activation medium premium and for every instruction charge you have at the point of triggering the haunted abomination the skill deals plus 14 percent additional damage so that's how you scale your damage when you need to do a lot of damage on uh, like bosses and some tanky rares so yeah and you are getting uh, the instruction charges per crit so you want to stack a uh, high crit chance as well which you do through fervor stacking so yeah linking it with hardened for defense mark to mark enemies marked enemies get, take 40 percent increased critical strike damage and guard to generate barrier for even more defense defensive skill here ages of fire link it with any trigger uh, you get like i got this from 
my run but you can buy some cheap triggers like activation medium elite are cheap you can get anything else like when you st uh, like the activation medium start those are cheap as well so you can link at that with that uh, extended duration and uplifting to increase to increase its duration and effect and what ages of fire does it increases your attack and spell block chance so you can block more of your self dam self inflicted damage and regenerate your energy shield and life faster <clears throat> and the last skill is mana boil here that increases your that gives you uh, additional spell damage and you link it with self sacrifice self sacrifice normally gives the skill minus 80% additional duration but since mana boil lasts until you lose all your mana or consume all your mana the mana ball does never end basically because if you have enough mana regen you are able to sustain it indefinitely so uh, the self-sacrifice just gives it a lot of like status effect then mania increase status effect as well and mass effect increases the effect of the mana ball as well for the auras like energy fortress you want energy shield because you are reserving one of your auras to on life so you are run energy shield and you regenerate it really fast through the block recovery uh, centas one selfishness or amplifications those are probably the best supports you can get <coughs> Uh, elemental resistance that's the base version uh, that only increases your max elemental resistance if you get a precise version awesome like you will have your uh, elemental resistance problems solved pretty much so then that's one selfishness or amplification again increases the effect of the max elemental resistance the third aura here is precise that fast. I dropped precise first fa that fast. If you don't have it, just use the normal one to increase your armor. Seal conversion stent as one selfishness. So I'm con I'm reserving this aura on life. And the last aura here is weapon amplification, which gives you additional physical damage. <coughs> That's it for this for now. For the passives. God of War uh, looks like this, like stuck in a block chance and damage and critical strike damage. Uh, the la the large passives here: brutality, additional physical damage, and uh, endless fervor for fervor, basically. Later on, when you get a slate which provides you with fervor on block, you can swap to automatic upgrade to increase your block chance through the roof. Yeah. Um, Shadow Dancer. Uh, the tree looks like this. And Continuum, 350 spell critical strike rating after you critical st critically strike with attack which the attack is the charge that we use this one so that works pretty much always uh, and the second one is hair trigger additional damage of skill for every four points of fervor so we are stuck in fervor this gives fervor another effect increases our damage and later on we will be able to stack ever to stack fervor to around 160 charges or something like that yeah that's for the next video uh the third talent tree ranger talent tree looks like this so fervor effect critical strike damage per fervor rating and yeah stacking crit crit damage fervor effect Look, critical strikes have the lucky effect while having at least 
50 fervor rating. This means that you don't even need to be crit capped and you will be still crit in because your uh, critical strikes basically gets calculated twice and the higher number wins so you basically crit more often this this is like plus 25 percent critical strike chance basically yeah uh, and the second uh, main talent is impending every 0.25 seconds plus six percent additional damage taken for enemies within 10 meters you are with rosa you are pulling enemies towards yourself so this is stacking on them uh, always statue of the god just whatever i dropped i have some plus skill here did not bother with it yet um what i have prepared for you is one more thing if you want to have more fun and you want to invest into a build a little bit more you can get these two items this is a relic and on this relic you want to have the first engram slot open to be able to slot in the sanctity of the holy land hero memory which basically uh, the relic turns your f skill into a channel skill and the memory makes it that when a monster leaves uh, the holy domain so when you run with your holy domain out from the monsters this memory procs uh, the holy domain again and keeps sucking monsters into you so you can run through the entire map and uh, pull monsters towards you as you are running i will show it to you right now just so you have an idea and that would look like this let's run another time mark 7 map uh, or you know what we can actually try to run time mark 8 map i have no idea if i will be able to clear it but i should be so let's see so that's time mark 8 check for minus block chance there's none but there was the mod that prevents monsters from getting damage when they are far away from you this one should be okay <coughs> let's try it and i have the uh, the running uh, <laughs> relic so let's see if it works here <coughs> so basically now i'm just holding d if you don't want to hold your uh, channel skills you can just go to settings battle and uh, click your channel skills here that allows you to only tap it and it will keep channeling as you move and you can basically keep running and it will keep sub sucking monsters uh, for the entire map and they will eventually die <laughs> basically but you can drag you can drag them through the entire map to the boss room and they will die in the boss room eventually so this is time mark 8 map and as you can see uh, the build clears it somewhat it just it is just not prepared for it yet so yeah defensively like it should have enough damage and these these monsters are just insane but for time mark 7 farming this build is more than prepared for that as you've seen can we kill the boss with this setup yes we can as you can see here so even capable of farming time mark 8 maps on level 90 with pretty much no gear as i said you can you can build the build together for around 100 fe's uh, if you go for lower tier mods on your hero relic and hero memories Um, for the hero relics and hero memories you either if you want to just run you can buy these two uh, This relic will cost you for uh, around three to five hundred fe's But if you want to go cheap you can just buy a relic like this 
with murderous intent effect and a further rating murderous intent like limit and on the memories you want to get further effect and murderous intent upper limit and that will like give you a lot of damage basically so yeah that's the build let's check the damage now after i like got the level 90 passive it takes the build a little while until it stacks its 100 fervor but once 100 what's once the 100 fervor is stacked it will it just starts ramping really fast and you will later on you will be stuck in the fervor faster because you will get you will be getting more stacks per crit basically so yeah so yeah that's it for this build i guess um i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next one which will be update for time mark 8 farming and possibly time mark 8.4 and damage like over 500 bill to be able to cap the dummy we'll see if the build will be capable of it i believe it will be we'll see thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye.